Olivia. And this is a book by Shakespeare called King Lear. If you want to see who all the characters are, they are all in, in here. Goneril, Regan, King Lear, Cordelia, Earl of Gloucester, Edgar, Edmund, and Earl of Kent. And this book is about his three daughters. And he was old now, so he said that he will divide the place he ruled into three parts to be ruled by his daughters. And he said the richest part will go to the one who loves me most. So Goneril, the first daughter that came to him, said she loved him more than words could say. But two of them lied. It was Goneril and Regan. Regan said her love is better than Goneril's. And... What did Cordelia say? Cordelia said she loved him like a daughter should, but he didn't understand that. So the first time she said nothing. Then he said, if you say nothing, you'll get nothing. Speak again. And she, that's what she said. So, he, the king of France loved her. And he said that her honesty makes him love her even more. And... Cordelia got nothing from the king. And Goneril and Regan said that he lost his wits. So they worked together to kick out the king. So he sent 100 knights to protect him. And then Goneril went up to him one, the other day and said, uh, all her servants are eating and drinking with some of the knights. So she said half of the knights had to be sent away. So 50. And that's one of their things to get rid of him because that means less protection. Mm. Then he said when Regan hears about it, she will tear her face up with her nails. And Edmund he well, at the end, he cleverly sent them, the two sisters, against each other by, um, I, I think it was, oh, he covered himself and acted like a knight, and they fell in love with him. Then, when he said, sent a letter to both of them and said that he would marry them as soon as they get rid of the husbands they already had. Oh. It's kind of like getting divorced. Oh, okay. So why would he want them to get divorced? I think he wants to be king or something. Okay, so he wants what they inherited from their father. Mm -hmm. So what happens to Cordelia? Cor 
Well, Re Regan said that she invited Goneril to a party. Then it was raining that night and lightning stroke. And then he saw how they were. King Lear? Um, yeah. He saw how cold their heart was. Oh, the two daughters? Yeah. I, I'll find that page. You don't have to show it. Just tell us what happens in the storm. Um, the storm... He, and then they made fun and s of him and said that he gave when he gave up the crown to them and then he couldn't sleep in the castle because I think they banished him or something. Mm -hmm. and, well, then they said sleep in a river or something for all I care. Oh, wow. His own daughters, huh? Uh-huh. Okay, so then what? Then, when he woke up, he saw Cordelia, and his anger was replaced by gentleness of a child. Hmm. That's what it says in the book. Okay, so he was changed. And, and then... Now he knew what those words meant. Cordelia? Meant, yeah. <laughs> and he knows what those words meant now. So then, is that a happy ending? Uh, no, that's not the ending. Okay, tell us the ending. The ending, Cordelia dies. Edmund got them captured, and uh, the king's jester and her were hanged. And I'll show you the last one. And Edmund gets killed by his own brother because, well, the father did too. That's... Yikes. So what happened to King Lear? After that, he carried her... He had her and said that they... He saw, look, she's breathing. But I think he was just seeing things because he was going to die. Like in a movie I saw, like short films, one, uh, the little match girl, she was seeing things because she was going to die soon. Hmm, seeing things that we couldn't? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what else happens? King Lear and Cordelia died, and then what happened? Also, the father of Edmund and Edgar, well, here's the picture of the lightning coming down, and you saw it. What happened to the two sisters? Uh, Goneril put poison into her cup because I think she went to a party or something. And she drank wine or something like water. Hmm. And she... And then, once Edmund got killed, she didn't know. And she tried to get rid of her husband. But then she ran and got a knife and killed herself. Oh. So, all three daughters died and so, oh, did the father and Edmund, oh, the fa and the other father, his eyes got ripped out. One of them was, well, that's him, and that's what happened. He pulled out one of them, then the, they tried to stop the other, that guy, from doing the torture, but he already had done it, and the Earl of Glossier spent the rest of the night wandering along the country lanes before weariness came over him and he sank to sleep in a head grow or something. He was still the following morning when Edgar chanced upon him.
That's okay. one of his sons. So, what are you finding in common with all the Shakespeare stories? Well, a lot of people, like, people die. Sometimes there's love. That's the problem. <laughs> well, love triangles. Yeah. Forbidden love. Yeah, well, maybe he wrote like that because these are mostly uh, plays. So well, they are performed and they need to entertain. Maybe I need to read them all again to do it because I just need to read that one and I'm done with the whole set of these books. I know, that's really cool. I haven't even read half of those, I'm sure. And when we do the Jeopardy YouTube videos, they have a lot of Shakespeare questions. Yeah. And you know a lot of them. <laughs> so you're valuable team player. So you like these stories. Yeah. Even they're violent mm -hmm. and sad and there's never happy endings. Well, in this book there's a happy ending. What book is that? It's called Twelfth Night. I might read it. I might tell you about it in my next outside reading assignment. Okay. So, bye. Bye.